Hi everybody, it's Dan here. Today I'd like to announce I'm going to do an experiment with high dose vitamin D supplements. Now I learned about vitamin D back in about 2008 or 2009 on YouTube with Dr. John Cannell who was the head of the vitamin D council. He said that people that take vitamin D quit getting uh, colds and flu and stuff. So I, I decided to start trying because I used to get two to three colds a year every year and it was horrible. So what I did was uh, I started taking vitamin D and within a year, <laughs> it reduced my colds down to like one or none a year, you know, and ever since then I've had maybe one. I went two years without a cold recently. So, and I've had just a handful since, since uh, tw 12 years ago or so when I started taking vitamin D. So I, I'm a big believer. So anyway, I was watching YouTube and I saw a video, uh, an interview of a guy named Jeff T. Bowles, who was a son of a Stanford doctor. And he read, read over 50,000 vitamin D-related abstracts and articles on PubMed. And what he found out was that um, people that take higher doses can sometimes cure lots of disease. He wrote a book called The Miracle Cure That Doctors Don't Know About. And I ordered the book a couple days ago, and hopefully I'll get it and I can read it. But he says that he experimented with uh, uh, 20,000 units of vitamin D for a couple months, then he went up to 50,000, 100,000. Now, I'm not going to get that severe. I'm not going to go that high, but I do want to raise my vitamin D levels a little bit more because I've had, uh, even though I don't get a lot of colds and I was able to skate through the coronavirus very easily because I've, like I said, I live in Phoenix and I go outside and walk in the sun a lot and I take 5,000 units of vitamin D. Um, I still don't, I still feel tired a lot of the time and I've got some nagging pain. I've got shoulder pain that I've had since the beginning of the year. And before that I had back pain for a month and a half and I had sciatic pain about a month and a half before that. So I got these nagging pains that just don't seem to want to go away. And what Bowles said was he said that he, uh, when he was, he upped his vitamin D to 20,000 a day, a day, what happened was his his, uh, his hip click went away, and he had a couple other health problems that just went away. His, his his shoulders felt better and stuff. And since my shoulders hurting really bad, I can't seem to get it to to improve perfectly. And my back is always in pain because because all the years I played softball. I'm going to try this high dose vitamin D experiment for a couple months, 60 days or so. I have a bottle here I got from the vitamin shop, and I'm going to try this starting. I did a couple days ago, but. All I had was 5,000 uh, IUs of vitamin D, and that, I don't want to take five pills a day, so I got these 10,000s. I'll take two of them and maybe a 5,000. I'm going to try to average about 25,000 units a day for a while. I have some magnesium. I'm not going to worry about K2 unless I feel funny. I'm not going to worry about K2 for the two months, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this and see how it works. So like I said, today's I went to 30,000 today. Tomorrow I'll go down to 20,000 IU. I've been doing it for about five or six days, about 15, 20,000. So I'm starting to feel a lot better. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a lot of energy right now. So we'll see what happens. And I'll, I'll get back in about in about a month or so, and or maybe a couple of weeks. I'm not sure. I'll make another video talking about how I feel. I'm hoping to get rid of this nagging sh shoulder pain because when I sleep, I lay on this side. It just hurts the next day, right, right here. So hopefully I can, if I have any good results, I'll let everybody know about it. So... Uh, and, and the back pain. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourself a good night.